Hello and welcome, I'm Ijeoma Onyato. Tonight, wailing and raging Lagos as three-story building collapses, many trapped, others fear dead. Lagos government and the presidency saddened by the building collapse, authorities to re-examine state of building in Itapaji area of Lagos. Federal government bans Boeing 737 MAX 8 from flying in Nigerian airspace. And 10 killed in British school shooting in the Zilin city of Sao Paulo. On business news tonight, Securities and Exchange Commission releases new rules and amendments aimed at easing costs for investors. On sports news tonight, FC Barcelona, Lyon, Bayern Munich and Liverpool FC in final place or final push for a place in UEFA Champions League quarterfinal stage. And from Abuja, Senate begins debate of the 2019 budget, cautions federal government on borrowing plans. from Lagos Island where a three-story building collapsed earlier today, leaving some residents and children injured. The area is notorious for congestion, narrow streets and old buildings. Here is the aerial view of the Itapaji Lagos Island where a three-story building caved in. That's the view that you can see on your screen right now. And hundreds of people surrounding the area, some of them making efforts to rescue school children and others trapped in the rubble. Rescue efforts have been difficult because of the crowd and the congested nature of the area. No fewer than 50 persons have been rescued so far as the efforts continue while those injured have been taken to hospital. Lagos Island is frequently hit by building collapses due to weak enforcement of regulations on old structures. Rescue efforts began in full swing at the scene of the building collapse. Immediately the story broke, but it appears rescue officials are not done yet. The children from a primary school located on the second floor of the building are among the occupants already freed from the rubble. Many of the occupants of the building, said to be residential facility with several apartments, are feared to be trapped. Shouts of joy and celebration over this child has just been removed from the rubble. The child's now being taken to the hospital. There are others here at the Lagos Island General Hospital. The deputy governor of Lagos State, Idad Adibule, is over here to check on them. In the meantime, the rescue operations are continuing as many of the occupants of the building are reportedly still trapped in the rubble. I can say that about 24 survivors have been rescued and we are having nine deaths, mostly children. And it's unfortunate that this happened today. Uh, in this vicinity, this neighborhood, three other such buildings have been sealed by Alaska with the efforts, collaboration efforts of the council. And we will not stop. It's quite unfortunate. 
for a while now, there's been concerns about the structural safety of the buildings on Lagos Island. Maybe this might just be what is needed to prompt speedy action. The permanent secretary of the Lagos State Ministry of Health says all hands are on deck to give medical care to all those who sustained injuries and were brought to the General Hospital in Lagos. Many of the injured are mostly students, and the deputy governor of Lagos State was at the hospital to sympathize with them. The permanent secretary of the Ministry of Health also told journalists that there were some casualties. And still on the collapsed building, the Lagos State Governor, Akiwumi Ambodi, has visited the scene to assess the rescue operation. Now, he told reporters that most of the houses on the congested street have been undergoing integrity tests, but this exercise has also met stiff opposition from landlords. I just want to appeal to people, you know, when we are doing res response to this kind of work, Sympathizers, yes, they will naturally look on, but I want to appeal to everyone that they should give the rescue workers a chance to save more lives. Like we have said, this area will be undergoing a lot of integrity tests with the buildings in this neighborhood. And as you can see, some of them have been marked for demolition. We get resistance from landlords, but we must continue to save life and we intensify our efforts to see that those that have failed our integrity test will make sure that they are quickly evacuated. Now, first responders and rescue agencies, both at federal and state level, may have had a hard task carrying out their jobs today at the scene of the incident. The narrow streets and the large number of people took up every available space. Our correspondent, Ulu Phillips, tells us more. The sheer number of um, sea of heads you see here is an indication of why this rescue mission may have taken this long to happen. Mind you, from the information we have, this building be or the building that collapsed here happened since 9 o'clock and up till now, rescue is still ongoing because there are indications that are people are still trapped beneath the rubble and debris of this um, one standing three and a half, I should say, buildings. Um, the third floor was housing uh, a makeshift school that has close to 100 people and so far uh, we've witnessed the rescue of about 11 children and, and you, what you, you see here is a cacophony of voice you're not sure who is actually calling the shots as far as this rescue is concerned you've seen what happened um, just few days ago in Ethiopia um, when a, a plane came crashing everywhere everywhere in the world where there's an accident scene or there's a crime scene it is completely cordoned off it's a sad day in Lagos. Uh, we thought that this was over in our history as far as building collapse is concerned. But if you look around the whole the entire um, access, it, it tells you one thing, that there isn't any, any, any preference to, um, to sanctity in building, to sanctity in structure, it's to sanctity in um, healthy living. And earlier the governor spoke and said that they've tried to run some tests around the uh, buildings around here and the landlords have resisted vehemently uh, um, to allow the state government to conduct that. Uh, we do not pray that another building goes down before the right thing is done. Hopefully, more rescues will be done, and when that is done, uh, more people will be rescued. Um, from here on Lagos Island, uh, very close to one of the popular hospitals around, the Mercy Child Hospital. Um, this is Olu Phillips reporting for Channel Television News. All right, let's return to the scene of that incident. Um, there's a live issue that's going on there. Our correspondent, Loretta Chogo, is there. So, Loretta, um, tell us more now. The last time we spoke, you had said that rescue efforts were put on pause for, for them to get a bit of rest. Uh, have they started again now? Of course, excavation is still ongoing here, and I'm sure you can see that behind me. And the crowd have refused to go. Um, perhaps on their minds and, and in their eyes, all they want to see is that another survivor is pulled out from the rubble. But I, I, I think I can safely say that I, I don't think that there's a chance of pulling out more survivors from here. Um, 
the crowd are very optimistic uh, that even though the excavator has not reached the ground zero yet because it's still working behind me um, that there could be um, hope for a survivor uh, another survivor to be pulled out as at 6 p.m. I did report that about three survivors adult survivors were pulled out and one dead body which has been taken to the mortuary uh, uh, and also this is Itafaji popular area on Lagos Island uh, where you have uh, lots of houses about three four five story buildings all clustered together uh, and this particular one was a three-story building that housed um, residents and also uh, a school that we understand uh, the name is Owen uh, Nursery and Primary School uh, it, it was a busy uh, session for the school when this particular building caved in on the children and of, of course on the residents as well and I must tell you that earlier before now uh, there were frantic calls coming out from the rubble because uh, people around here told us that people were people inside the rubble were making calls to them and telling them sending them uh, SOS messages and telling them that they are still alive but like I said earlier, it doesn't look, look, look as if there's going to be any other survivor coming out from this rubble. But the rubble is being taken now uh, into the lorry that is going to load it out. And earlier when we spoke with the uh, general manager of La Sema, he did tell us that they are not putting any figure yet to those who have been rescued uh, because earlier in the day uh, some students were rescued and taken to the Lagos Island General Hospital and I'm, I'm sure you saw some of the footages of those who were injured uh, and some were stabilized while some still needed more medical care so we are hopeful that those who need more medical care will survive um, the injuries that they sustained uh, yeah, Loretta, sorry, if I can just um, um, uh, say, sorry, Loretta, if I can just say that, remember that um, some of the victims' families perhaps are watching, and it will be better for us to say that there is still hope rather than say that um, you don't think anyone will, will still be alive. So just to say that Channel Television has not said that no one else uh, will survive. So what we are actually saying is that we will wait until the officials finally get to ground zero and say to us that no one else um, is alive, just remembering that family and friends could be watching. But just in terms of how many they've pulled out, um, we're hearing the number 50. Has anything changed uh, in that number? Okay, well, I was just trying to ask Loretta if um, anything had changed in terms of the number that have been pulled out. All right, so if she can't hear me, um, we're looking for an update just to see if there's anyone else that has been pulled out for that rubble, just to remember that the officials themselves, when they get to ground zero, will tell us whether or not um, the search ends and if there's no other person alive. Now, in part two, after the break, gunmen storm Afuze police station in Edo State, Kill DPO and others. Governor visits the scene of the attack. That's in a moment. Mr. Wilson.